Hey, 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 everybody. Just going through my gear like I said I was. It's the beginning of the year. It's time to check out your bug out bags, your bug out boxes, your get home bags, your escape and evade bags, your everyday carry bags, your 72 hour bags. You know what I'm saying. It's time to check and make everything, make sure everything is in good shape, including yourself. I need to do that. We're working on that prepper fit. That's going to be a go for the first of the year. So that being said, I wanted to go over my, what I call, oh shit boxes. Now I make these for every vehicle I have, including each one of my kids get one on their 16th birthday. Yeah, they groan, they moan, but they love it once they get in trouble. And I'll go over those in a future video because those are a little different than mine. But here is just the box that I'm going over right now to save time in the next video that's coming up, which is what is everything in the car and how my bug out car, and I bet you can't guess what it is. Put that in the comments down below. What kind of bug out vehicle does Rip have? And I have two just to tell you. So two guesses, let's see who can guess. Anyway, you'll love them and they're coming. But for the box only so I can save time in the other video, I got paper towels, toilet paper roll. I got a Pittsburgh multi-use transfer pump. Now that is for pumping water. Now I have another one that'll be in the rig that you'll see on the rig video that is for pumping gas out of gas tanks. Not saying that I do that ish. Anyway, that being said, let's look at what's in the box real quick. Well, I've got my Fresnel lens, which this thing will start a fire if it's sunny out, sometimes if not. But if it's real sunny out, don't get your hand in front of it. You can start a fire real easy with this. And it's flat. Look at that. Flexible. You can put that in a pack. That's a good pack idea. It's a dollar at the dollar store. Anyway, we got here Harbor Freight figure nine cinch downs. I've got a smaller one or about what I consider a medium and a large one. The large one's in one of the bins that we're going to see here in just a minute. I've got my slingshot also from Harbor Freight, and I've got slingshot ammo for that, but rocks do just fine. I've got safety glasses. These right here are female urinal bags. Yep, if you got to go gray and you don't have time to be caught with your britches down, woohoo! these really work. Guys can use these too. Just works a little differently. And if you're using it too long, well, that's just naughty. Anyway, got an ice scraper because everybody should have one of those in their box. I've got a, a, a monocular here as a 10 power monocular. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. It works just fine. Right here, picked one of these up at the casino once. It's a, it's a cr kind of like a crank light. Woohoo! Right? That right there never needs battery, so that's great. Get yourself just an inexpensive multi-tool here works just fine this is from wally world these are also can be found at wally world now this is a survival in a can it has a compass two cube fire starters eight foot or nine foot of multi-cord one survival first aid information packet three foot of multi-use wire for snares hmm that's handy four waterproof matches 101 feet of fishing line and sewing thread Woo! one bullion soup packet one tea bag i'm gonna leave that alone one sugar packet one match book two antiseptic swabs one razor blade three twist ties 12 inches of duct tape, one signal mirror, one Ziploc bag, two adhesive bandages, two nails, two safety pins, two fishing hooks, one signal whistle, one piece of chewing gum, one sewing needle, whew, one entry candy or energy candy, not entry candy, that's different, one note paper pad and one pencil. That is handy. Now this right here is a pack of four of these. This is a cable cinch. Now this is really handy when you're using a tarp, like that one right there, to uh, use with your rope, which is in there and elsewhere, to cinch down and make a shelter out of. Uh-huh. This is a pencil torch. Exactly what it says it is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yep, we've got our survival knife right here. Check that out. We've shown this in another video. This one right here has a, has a blade on it. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. 
I don't think I can. This has got that special lock on it. Oh, there we go. Woo! I cheated. Anyway, it's got a seatbelt cutter and a window breaker. That's a handy one. I got one of those in my glove box as well, or my center console. Now we have some duct tape. We've got a tarp. We've got, this is a thermal pad. I just kind of made it out of some water heater um, reflective stuff. This helps keeps the heat out of the box. I put that on the top. We have got a multi-card tool. Those are really pretty handy actually. In here is a bag that has a four and a half inch compressed gauge, three energy gels, one compressed towelette, one Israeli bandage, one eight by nine uh, abdominal gauze, one five by five abdominal gauze, one four by four gauze. And uh, this bag, which has as you can see, staple pullers and a stapler for lacerations, big ones. Uh, it's got a N100 and an N95 mask in there. I've got, let's see what else is in there. Oh yeah, go flip to this side. I've got an extra large Israeli bandage in there. And that's what's in that. Now this is a first aid kit. This is my combat trauma first aid kit. This is one I'll go over in another video because there's so much in here. Now, I also have right here my bulletproof vest. Um, this is something that unfortunately is a must these days. And now I've got, let's see, gloves, water pills, utensils, wipes, pep pepper spray. I've got chem lights. I've got a tire repair kit. There's the big figure nine cinch down. This is miscellaneous. I've got shears, flares, more zip ties. I've got another pair of shaded safety glasses, some jute twine. Got some candy. Oh, in here I've got some bleed stop. One of them open cans, eat open bottles with a spoon on it kind of things. And a, uh, a, 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 fit, or, see, a 10 foot length of cord. Got some bungees, got some electrical tape, some rubber bands, got a surplus stove. I'll show you one of those here shortly. I've got hand sanitizer in a spray and more tire repair stuff. Handy dandy. Now in here, I have a waterproof electronics case, a snuffer bottle for taking samples, regular dust masks. Let's see here. Oh, yep, this is a that is uh there's two catheters in there yeehaw those are fun i've got some zip ties and some body warmers and a fire starter right there i've got more body warmers i've got some smoke bombs i've got a tire repair kit a tube repair kit excuse me i've got an awl for making all kinds of holes mm -hmm, i said it I've got miscellaneous medications, which you should make a list of. I've got some syringes for application. There's some allergy medicine in there. There's some sickness medicine, all that kind of stuff. I've got a spare magazine or flashlight carrier. I've got some more hand sanitizer. I've got uh, a razor scraper or a makeshift scalpel if needed, but that's in the surgical kit right there that's inside that. I've got tweezers with a magnifying glass for getting big tweezer type pieces of wood out of you as well as starting fires i've got a stem kit air gauge and caps i've got all weather matches i've got of course an emergency blanket oh there's six smoke bombs i've got super glue i've got a flashlight i've got homemade fire starters i'll show you these sometime and let's see i got a notepad i've got this that's a uh, compact uh, little backpack stove oh yeah i've got a poncho i've got fuel little fuel folding stove there's some redundancy here got head net because if you're in the area of mosquitoes you don't want to get malaria i got some fuel for the little backpack stove i've got latex free gloves for people with allergies and uh so I've got a few pairs of those. I've got three-day food blocks. I've got a survival sleeping bag. 
and that about covers what's in the box that's pretty amazing isn't it yes sirree now i got to put it all back in there why don't you come over and help or just put your comments down in the comment section and be sure to like share and subscribe and uh be sure to be safe secure aware of your surroundings and always prepared for what may come ahead i will see you guys when i put it back in the car later Ooh, well, that's a lot of work.